future. <laughs> it's the future promoter college. It's your future. And you know what? It's the future of the world, which is already in your hands. So what are you going to do with it? Now, faculty, a few things about your new crop of students. Nearly all of this class were born in Gen Z, like 97 to 2012. There's 68 million Gen Z individuals in, this, in the US. By 2025, so in just two years, they will be one quarter of the population in the Asia Pacific. So the future is now. They're all born with some form of digital device, probably near hand. Um, there are probably many hours of the day where that is in there. 60% of TikTok are these people. Pretty great people, but 60% of TikTok. Um, they're on track to be the best educated generation in history. Also, a group of people who tend to believe that everyone doesn't need to do the same thing or be the same kind of person. To be really comfortable with difference. We also are passionate about causes, about communities that they built. I've heard from McKinsey that, that you all are what's called socially progressive dreamers. The commitments that they make run deep. It's this sense that, that what matters in the world matters to each of you individually and personally. It's the environmental issues, sustainability, it's civic engagement. We have a fabulous faculty member here, Heidi Haddad, who has a city task force course that um, for the class project involved presenting their findings to Governor Gavin Newsom's staff in Sacramento. Now, a lot of schools start off their description of the new year with the accomplishments that you all had in high school. We don't do that because, once again, we're about the future of you, not about the past. It may not feel very powerful right now. You may not have decided on a major, which is good. You may not have a specific career path in mind. That's all okay. The first semester of college should be about letting go. Letting go of the pressure that you put on yourselves in the past. Letting go of other people's dreams for you. Letting go of that nickname you always hated that now nobody really needs to know if you stayed off of the internet like you should. <laughs> and it's about finding your power. That's always going to take false starts. It's going to take moments of, of sacrifice, moments of victory, because if you're going to find solutions to the problems that I know you care about, you have to try and you have to fail. I said when we met in the CARW that one of the big things that I hoped for you was that you would give your permission, self permission, to leave a small footprint in the world. That not everything you have to do has to be consequential, not everything has to be the end of the world, not everything has to be the game changing moment. Because the only way that ultimately you will be able to have those transformative moments as if over the course of your life you pace yourself, you wait, you bide your time, you gather your strength, you gather your peace, 
You gather your tools, you gather your energy, you gather your force, so that when you're ready to spring, you spring forward with huge strength and power and will and effect. So over the course of this time, take the time that you need. Take the time to make friends, to be together. And the last bit of advice that I'll give you is simply the measure of whether you spend a good day, it's not the grade that you get on a quiz. The measure of whether or not it's been a good day is whether or not you had a positive effect on another person's life. The measure of whether you have a good college experience is whether you've asked a question you've never asked before. In that spirit, as I look out to you, I know you're going to ask questions no one has ever asked before. You guys are going to make the future. And I know it's in good hands. I'm going to hand things over to my friend and colleague, your Dean of Students, Amy Simpson.